NV Composites, the Utah-based company that invented a giant magnet for my wallet, recently started manufacturing bicycles. NV's reputation for pricey carbon wheels and components paved the way for its custom bicycle line that goes as high as $12,500 for a fully equipped bike. That's about 64,000 bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Along with the launch of the bicycle came a 40 second clip you could find on YouTube or Instagram. Quite honestly, it's a little underwhelming. When I first saw it, I thought, huh. So here's the deal. I took Envy's bicycle commercial off of YouTube and I made it better for you. Before we go on, welcome to the channel and if this is your first time, I hope you enjoy. If you're feeling generous today, slap the like button if you find this entertaining. So I had zero interest in this bike and not because I'm not a fan of Envy, but because I've placed a seven year moratorium on bike purchasing. <laughs> I know that's crazy, right? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see how long that lasts for. I did, however, file this bike away in the little drawer in my head for future bikes to peruse when the moratorium is over. Fast forward to earlier this week when I was putting together a 10,000 mile review on Envy's 5.6 SES wheels for the channel. So I stumbled across Envy's YouTube channel and I saw the 40 second commercial for the first time. Let's watch it together right now. Okay, so it's weird, right? It's not necessarily bad. I mean, there are some micro shakes in some of the product shots with the frame set. In this macro shot of some carbon fiber, it looks like a balding cat. But visually, it's pretty good. But the audio engineering was really odd, and after about 15 seconds, I was kind of bored. I think the edit could be better, uh, so let's give it a try. But before we go on, the whole premise for this video might seem a little familiar, and that's because last year, Petey McKinnon did the same thing with an Omega watch commercial. And yeah, I'm kind of doing the same thing. But when I saw the Envy ad, I really thought, hey, you know what happened? The editor was either given a really short turnaround time, or the client gave her or him some very restrictive conditions. Also on Envy's channel, there's a longer four minute ad for this bike that's pretty good. This seemed like an afterthought where they picked through the bones of the longer piece and tossed this together for Instagram. And it got 12,000 views on Instagram, so maybe it is really good. I think it could be better. Let's run through three things that I think need to be added. First and foremost, the audio was what killed it for me. There was no music. Music tells us how to feel and sets the tone. It can be dark and mysterious, but hit us with something fast too, change up the pace. Also, the Foley sounds on the manufacturing process were so unrecognizable that I thought the audio was broken. Second, the edit didn't match the title. High tech meets high touch, blah, blah, blah. I saw some fingers and some carbon, so I see the touch, but the high tech aspect was lost. Third, the pacing for a 40 second clip was rough. I think with 40 seconds, you have enough time to tell a story. And the story here is high tech innovation plus intimate handcrafted artistry produces a sexy bike. As a creator, you're always limited by the footage you have and what the client wants to see. I know there was some pretty great footage available because the four minute clip had really great visuals. So I took the four minute video and chopped it into parts of a story. Anyways, I've been pretty harsh in my critique, so I'll open up the floor to you. Take a look at this version and let me know what you think. Better, right? Uh, at least I hope so. I think 90% of the improvement here comes from the audio, not the visuals. 
I timed the hard cuts with the beat so it keeps your brain in sync with the shift and visuals. I also added the sounds you'd like to hear on a bike ride, and the tactile sounds you'd hear from the carbon being worked on. You can tell a story with sound alone, and I think that's what they were trying to do in a very clever way, it just fell flat. So the reason I went through this effort here was because I wanted you and I to be better at sharing our stories. Whether it's about bikes or your family or friends, doing this exercise makes us all better. Thank you to all the folks who have said really encouraging things about the channel so far. I know it's a long journey and there's going to be a lot of learning, but I hope to put out a quality product that's worth your time, and thank you for your faith in the channel so far. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you on the road. Thank <laughs> you.